So I've been attending a lot of Insights events to try and learn more about who the major players are in the industry, who, you know, people that work in different parts of the industry and who they are. And I've got to say, I'm actually, I don't know if it's the norm or not, but I'm very impressed with how open people are to connecting and to talking and to kind of giving advice or just being a cheerleader to each other really. Um, and one of the things that I always see in job uh, postings is somebody wanting knowledge for um, analytics tools. I, I know SPSS from grad school, but I've seen a lot of SQL and Tableau and a couple of other things being listed. So there's a lot of free or low cost stuff out there um, to learn that. So I've been kind of fiddling around with Tableau recently. Um, so I figure it's interesting, number one, but also if it helps me get a job, all the better. Feeling productive is key to my sanity. I feel productive when I have a to-do list every day. Um, that to-do list includes both personal, such as like giving the dog a bath, to as well as professional. Um, every week I complete at least one 30 minute um, LinkedIn learning course. Um, these courses can range from something that is related to my field to something that I just find interesting. Um, I feel that I feel I find great fulfillment in keeping my mind engaged. In time doing some networking. I'm probably not as active as some on LinkedIn with respect to networking, but I have been reaching out to past colleagues and setting up at least 30 minutes just to chit chat, catch up, but also understand, you know, how they're doing, you know, about their company, uh, about their role, if they would recommend their company as a, you know, as a potential employer. Um, it just helps me kind of, it helps me get a gauge as to maybe companies to consider as a target company for myself. But it also gives me an opportunity to really catch up on those colleagues that I really valued in the past, just haven't really made the time to always keep in contact with. And they've been really great conversations. And sometimes that 30 minutes goes a lot over, but I always make sure I am cognizant of their time. But it has been a blessing to really reconnect with a lot of old colleagues. And they have been so forthcoming with their time. And I really have appreciated it. Successful. Um, I've attended a ton of webinars and we have this great opportunity to, to do that right now. And that has allowed me to connect with people. I've gone from about 500 connections in LinkedIn to over 800 and I'm going to keep doing it. And I have finally found my true research tribe. Everybody is so helpful and is willing to say, Hey, what can I do to help? take advantage of that. Talk to people. You know, I have met so many people. I've learned so much new, uh, so many new things, right? New methodologies, new ways to approach data. Um, I've signed up for courses on Udemy and Coursera, uh, you know, Tableau, Python, R. Um, just expanding my toolbox in multiple directions, thinking of myself not only as a market researcher, but insights in that broader sense that it's become. Hmm. Write a bio. I had a recruiter tell me that you should write something around one to two pages that tells your story and in a narrative form. I did that. And then I sent it to my mentor to overlook and she ripped it apart. <laughs> and uh, that was good because I was able to revise it and improve upon it obviously create new connections as in any way you can. How did I do it? I was able to join through a colleague and a friend of mine in a referral uh, lunch club. If you guys don't know lunch club, you should join that uh, or things like that. These are virtual connections with like-minded professionals, many in the same boat you are. Also take advantage of your organizational skills. Treat your job search like a full-time job. I am able to keep track of all my contacts, uh, almost like a sales pipeline, uh, on Airtable, which is an online spreadsheet format, and manage it as such. Manage your contacts, manage your conversations, take them through the pipeline. Talking a little bit about being fulfilled and trying something new, I decided to sort of look back, and I had been a homeschool teacher. Um, I had taught my own children for quite a while and I really enjoyed that. 
And then when I looked around as a researcher, I try to kind of tune in to what's going on in my community by simply reading some of the posts on Nextdoor or Facebook or anything like that. And I could see that there was this coming storm where parents were really worried about what they were going to do with their children in the midst of the pandemic. So schools were either not going to open or they were going to be virtual. They had children that they just didn't think would thrive in that situation. And they just didn't like all the uncertainty and ambiguity. So they were reaching out and they were trying to find people who were willing to help them teach or to come and teach in their home. And so I decided, wow, there's a need that I can exploit. You know, I can take advantage of this um, opportunity. I can leverage what I used to do in the past, uh, which was be a homeschool teacher. Um, I can really kind of venture outside you know, of research and again, do something a little new and still feel like I'm really helping people. I'm helping families. I'm helping their children during this weird year. So it was very fulfilling to me to consider something like that. And as it worked out, um, I was able to network, you know, on Nextdoor and find some families that were interested in hiring someone. And lo and behold, I am now a pre-K teacher. So I'm having a great time. I'm still doing a little bit of market research consulting work in the evenings, and I'm very open to doing more of that if it comes my way. But I've got a steady uh, inco you know, income uh, from the kids, and I'm having a great time. So my story is really about trying something very new, uh, but kind of you know, leveraging what I had been able to do in the past and what my friends told me were my strengths, that ability to teach and to connect with people and bring groups together and that sort of thing.